This is going to be a real short video. All we're going to do is set up policy and then apply it to an API. That's pretty much it for this video. So we'll go into the startup class, we'll configure that, and we'll create a brand new policy. And then we'll apply it to our get values inside of our values controller. We'll just apply it to one of those methods. You could actually apply it to the entire controller, but I'll just apply it to one API for now. Then we'll test the API, make sure it's working. And then down here is a link. You'll find this down in the description. You click on that and you end up on this page. Now, if you're not familiar with policy-based authorization, this will allow you to apply multiple claims and multiple roles to a policy. And then, then you could attach that policy to an API. And then anybody that's using that API must have all these different uh, claims, like in this, in this example, claims and roles to use that API. So let's say, for example, right here, they're saying the policy name is at least 21. So we would apply that to a API or a controller. And then that this is checking to make sure that the user is at least 21. You know, that's this is just one example. They have a whole list of different examples down here. Like I've seen right here. Here they have a policy called something. And then they're checking to make sure that the whoever's using this has these claims all three of these claims so you can add a whole list of different claims you know all kinds of things and then here they're using this this attribute like this to protect uh i don't know if they're protecting the api or oh, they're protecting the whole controller uh with this this one right here i'm just going to protect one api uh let's go and actually copy this yeah this is perfect i'll just change it around a little bit we're going to do a little different. We're going to be adding roles, not claims. But later on, I'm thinking about adding claims later down the road. That's why I'm setting up this policy in the first place. So inside the configure services, inside of our startup class, we'll paste this. Let's open our startup class, control P. Then, like it says in the documentation, within the configure services, we'll paste our snippet in here. And I'm thinking like right below the builder, that would be, that would be good. And then uh, we'll just configure it a little bit. Now the policy name is not going to be something. You know, I'm thinking of calling it like employer policy. That would be good. Policy. And then I'm not going to set any claims. Uh, like there's not, not going to be any required claims as of now anyways. I might change that in the future. That's the whole reason I'm creating this policy. So I, I can add on different claims and different roles later on. But for now, I'll get rid of this and uh, I will require a role of employer for now. So require. Now, as you can see here, there's a whole list of different um, methods you could use. I'm only using one for now. So require role. And then we created this role in the last video. It's the employer role. And keep in mind, you could go all day long adding different claims, different roles. You can set a whole list of rules for this individual policy. Like as of now, we only have one. So let's set this policy to one of our APIs. And keep in mind, you could also use this to an entire controller, but we're only using it to an API. Let's save the startup class. Open up the uh, value controller, control P, and then values controller, there it is. Now, instead of using roles now, we're going to set a policy for this API. And uh, you just put in policy instead of roles. And then instead of employer, it's going to be the employer policy. So nothing's going to really change. It's still going to have the employer role. But let's just test this, make sure that this API is still working as advertised. So let's open up Postman, but first we'll reboot our server. So shut this down and uh, restart it and let's open up postman just make sure we didn't break anything with the api let's log in again and get a uh, fresh token so uh, we will go in here and log in let's log in with a a user that does not have the employer role make sure that this uh, is still working so we'll log in and then there's our token copy this now this should be forbidden. We should not be allowed to get access to that values uh, API. Now this is the API that is protected um, with our new policy. So let's uh, paste in our new token here and paste this, paste. Now we should not be allowed to get access and we're not. So the good, our policy is still working. Now let's go in and log in with a 
a user that has the employer role set to their account. So that is test two in this case. Hit send, we should get a new token. Copy this, and this uh, still should work. We should still get access to that API. And we will change this. Paste, and we should be allowed to get in. And we did, we got an empty array. So that is how you set a policy to uh, an API. And also you can set that to the controller, like I said before. Now in the next video, we're gonna start confirming emails. So we're gonna have to build a email service and then uh, we'll start confirming emails. We'll start the process in the next video. So I'll see you then.